So I fortunately had the, the time to come across a few new things from the last week. Um, as you can imagine, we've been a little busy this week and so much of the community is here um, and we're so thankful that everybody was able to be. But for those that weren't, uh, some of the updates that I came across uh, online. Uh, this first one, real quick, is just a small one. I'm not sure how much it actually affects everybody, but uh, Jason Sandys uh, mentioned that searching for Microsoft Store apps in Intune is no longer restricted based on uh, app age ratings. So if that was something that was biting you in the past, um, know that that has been changed. <clears throat> um, you may have noticed earlier this week as well, uh, the update for uh, the, the latest service release for Intune came out um, October, 2024. And the other thing I forgot to do was install Zoom it on this laptop, but that's why we have Zoom in the browser. Um, so pretty light update uh, this month. I think we're all hoping um, that we'll get a little bit larger one for Ignite next month, but uh, I, I've been trying to, to pick people's brains this week to see if we could get any rumors out of anyone, but so far not successful. Um, we did notice that um, uh, Intune inventory uh, was delayed, what, until next month now? Uh, originally supposed to be coming out this month. Yeah, it was delayed for some reason. Yep. So we don't know why, but that was announced earlier this week. Maybe they won't announce it at Ignite. You never know. That's a possibility. Um, also came across uh, two more community things here. Um, <clears throat> Nicholas Alberg has a solution uh, around printers um, and basically how we can move printers uh, and manage printers a little bit easier on the Intune side of things. Uh, most of us that have managed printers in the past have managed them probably through AD if you haven't moved to a cloud solution already. Um, so Nicholas put together a solution that he's had for um, maybe a year and a half, two years now, um, provided an update to this. Definitely recommend you checking it out. We've had uh, several folks bring it up and, and we've discussed it on a number of our courses. Um, so anytime we get updates here, just fantastic stuff. And last but not least, uh, this was new and shiny today. Um, the PS App Deployment Toolkit uh, version 4 is going to be released, and there was a number of updates uh, that are coming along with it. Um, so uh, I'll just hit the highlights here. I'll let everybody else go ahead and go to the blog post um, to get the details, but the PowerShell modules code signed, there is still backwards compatibility with PSADT3. Um, the interface, uh, there's a new Fluent interface, which actually looks really good. Uh, I, I like it a lot. Um, and PowerShell 7 support and ARM support um, are some of the big ones coming out of this release. So um, again, this was announced um, earlier today. Uh, Patch My PC actually here at the conference this week too. So um, great time for them to announce this. Um, and Dan with uh, PS ADT, um, it's looking like some really good stuff coming out of that solution. It's like a coincidence that they were here and doing the announcement. A little bit. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't they also announce uh, that they're doing enterprise support with the latest or with PS ADT as oh, well? Oh yeah, you can buy support if you want to. Yeah, still yeah. open source, but you have the option to, yeah, so to you can get still support. Do, yeah, you can still do the open source deal, but enterprise support and, and for the people yeah. that need that to be able to implement. Yeah, sometimes it's all it takes to get the community solution in, in the door. Yeah. To say that, all right, we'll support it. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. All right, so those were the things I had for today. Beautiful. So, so Adam, since you are here uh, representing uh, Intune.training and many other things, uh, what have you been up to, to lately on that, that channel? Uh, well, so you, if, you've, if you've tried to watch anything recently, you've noticed that we're kind of lacking on getting content out. Um, it's mostly because life is happening, but in a good way. I've got, I've got three kids that are doing stuff and we're just doing family things a lot. Um, but uh, we, about a year ago, uh, Steve and I launched a um, reboot of um, the, set, the channel. So we've been doing it for about five years now. And we know a lot of the content was getting stale and and so we kind of uh, put together a concerted effort to um, re-release, you know, like recover all the topics. So starting with getting started with Intune and, and working from there. Um, and uh, we're, I think we've probably got about a dozen 
videos in the can at this point uh, for that. Um, and as soon as we get more time, we'll, we'll get back into that. Um, but we're still, you know, we've got a lot of feedback from the conference and we're still getting regular um, requests from, and comments on the, uh, on the channel uh, for different topics. And so we're, we're trying, we're getting there as much as we can, but um, you know, as you guys know, life, life has its life is, yeah, oh, yeah. So what you're saying, there is a possibility that during the cold months there might be some content to dive into. And if that wouldn't be the case, there are still a few hours of already recorded content, I believe. You shared some metrics, I remember, last year. Yeah, I think so. I think, uh, I think we've exhausted the pool of videos sitting on the shelf at this point. So I think everything's released that we have. Um, but... Yeah, I'm hoping that we can squeeze in some more or even do some marathon days. Uh, as you may know, we're so Steve's in Australia and uh, I'm in Houston and um, our time zones are kind of fun. And so we have Friday date nights. Uh, I get well, it's, it's his Saturday. So uh, he uh, um, and so yeah, we're, we uh, we're trying to work it out, trying to see what we can we can make happen next. Um, but we still are committed to trying to keep getting content out. But I. But also, you guys are making it easier for us to maybe not, because you, you guys are covering a lot of good stuff too. So. Uh, thank you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> but that. say that someone would would sit down and, and watch your YouTube channel from like day one until now. How many months will it take to get through? Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. So I think we. Jeez. Um, I'd have to double check, but it, it was several years. <laughs> All right. Sorry. It's several years worth of watched hours uh, of content that we've seen at this point. Um, uh, yeah, the metrics are, are nuts. We've had like over 2 million views and 40,000 plus subscribers. And uh, it, yeah, it's a lot. I think it maybe, I think we've had almost 200 videos now, hour long each ish. It's a lot. Yep. Keep us busy through the weekend. Yep. Yeah. Good. <laughs> and what's, what's really funny is our very first video was released like what, 2019, 2020, uh, intro to Intune. And uh, it's still one of our top videos. And we even have links on it, like go to the new one and stuff. And it still, it still shows up at the top search results. And still watch it. <laughs> so we just leave it up. All right, fair and square. All right, um, thank you, sir.